Hello everybody, All Goofer here on episode 8, I believe. And we're just sitting here on our little viewing rock. That's what I've decided to name this here piece of rock land. Uh, because this is at the moment the sight line of the village that I'm trying to accomplish, making it look very well. Uh, so last episode, we got those sea cliffs in, uh, that one right above my head there, and that one there. And we did a bunch of terraforming all along here as well, some rocks up there, uh, a lot of bone meal. And yeah, so that was last episode. If you didn't see that one, go check it out. And like and subscribe if you haven't already. I would really appreciate that because this episode is going to be a big one. So without wasting any more of your guys' time, let's jump right into it. Okay, so enough suspense. This episode, we are going to be building a massive church right here on the top of this hill. Uh, this is right above our sea cliffs. As you can see, there's the one there and the other one is right here. So for the sight line, this is going to be, I think, the biggest and most key project uh, for the whole village. Except maybe being the castle, but we're not going to start that yet. I don't even know where it's going to go. But for this sight line anyway, this cathedral or church, I don't really know what takes a church from being a church to a cathedral. And so that I don't speak wrong, I'm just going to call it a big church. I might look up what exactly the definition of a cathedral is, and this might fit that description. Uh, so we'll just call it a church for now. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and start clearing this land a little bit. I do want this hill look. I just want to get a good nice flat surface here on the top of it so that I know that I can fit the whole build on a flat surface. Uh, once there, I can start changing the terrain around it and making it look a little more interesting. But when I start a build, especially a big one like this, it's nice to just have a flat surface. So I'm going to go ahead and dig that out. Oh, we still need to clean our mess up from last episode. Eh, I'll do it later. So that's the platform we're looking at, and now I'm going to go and grab all the materials I'm going to need for this big church. Last episode, we actually went ahead and grabbed up a bunch of the materials that I was going to need um, for the sea cliffs. So a lot of stone, andesite, and tuff. I actually don't think I'm going to be using any of that. Um, but these kind of blocks are what I'm going to use a lot of. So this might honestly not be enough stone, but I've got plenty of it, so that's not an issue. The real big block that we're going to need that I don't have any of is going to be cyan terracotta. So I'm going to go grab a whole bunch of that and then I'm going to start planning out this build. Alright, and this should be plenty of terracotta. Now I got to go turn it into cyan terracotta. And guys, you can call me absolutely stupid for this, but I just realized that I've been using my <laughs> Silt Touch pickaxe, and I actually need the cobblestone variant of the deep slate, not the actual deep slate. So I'm gonna go run up to my stone cutter and see if these will actually be able to turn into other deep slate variants. All right, and... Oh, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, well, I just wasted a little bit of time gathering the wrong kind of deep sleep. So let me just throw this in here and let's restart that. Okay, so I've pretty much got everything I'm gonna need, I think. Uh, I got a few empty shulker boxes here, but I've got 
Uh, all the deep slate I'm gonna need. Uh, all the cyan terracotta I'm gonna need, I think. That should be good on all that stuff. Um, I got a lot of different various woods, but I'm definitely gonna need more spruce wood. Uh, so I'll definitely have to go and chop some more of that. Got all the andesite I'm gonna need, and this probably won't be enough stone, because I'll be turning a lot of it into stone brick, and then also using a lot of the stone block. Um, so yeah, the first thing I want to do is kind of show you guys the gradient that I've got planned out here. So anyone who's been building here for any amount of time probably knows uh, that gradients are kind of the hot topic here in Minecraft now. I think a lot of people are getting the hang of them. A lot of people have been doing them here for a while. Um, this is kind of a simple idea of a gradient, but I got the gray going into the white. And that's not like a great gradient, um, because the textures besides like the diorite and the andesite kind of go with each other the stones are a little bit dark for this gradient um, but I still think it looks good I like to build my houses like that also because you don't have an absolute ton of room to provide a really strong gradient um, doing some lighter gradients I think works so for this church which by the way I did look up the definition for a cathedral and this does not work a cathedral, I guess, has to have a throne room, much like a castle, where like the pope or the bishop or someone important would sit, and um, that kind of is what makes a cathedral a cathedral, I guess. A little bit of history there for you guys. So unfortunately, this is not going to be a cathedral, but it'll be a very large church, and nonetheless, it'll still look really fantastic, I think, up on this hill. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking of a gradient. Bear with me. So we're going to have a really dark blocks here on the base. I'm gonna make the gradient sideways so I don't have to build it up. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start the base of the cathedral, church, sorry. Base of the church is gonna be very dark and we're just gonna kind of bring it up a little bit lighter into this. And actually I think I got this backwards. We want the stone and the andesite. So, that is going to be my gradient for the church, and I, I like it pretty well. You can see, it, you really can't tell the difference too much until you get closer. It just looks like a nice color from dark to light. So that's how we're going to do it from base to top. And because it's going to be such a large structure, we're going to be able to make a really strong gradient like this. Whereas these much smaller structures, although I could have you know done better with the tower, but these much smaller structures don't have room to make a really strong gradient and sometimes they look actually kind of funny when they have a really strong gradient. I guess knowing how to parse that out is key when working on gradients. And then here with the andesite, I'm going to use it kind of, I think, as a accent block for some of my details. So that'll kind of be like the main wall structure, kind of a flat surface, you know, from base to top. Is going to be a gradient like that but that don't have like little details and railings or whatnot so I'm gonna go ahead and take my dark blocks and map out the base of this right now okay so I got the base of the church mapped out here and let me just show you kind of what you're looking at because I know it makes sense to me but I kind of highly doubt that it makes sense to any of you guys so these are gonna be side entrances here on each of the sides like that so these will be double doors on each side uh, and then this will be the main entrance here in the front. This is going to be a tower right here, one central middle tower. Um, and then, you know, windows along all these. There'll be a window, window, window. Um, and this back area is going to be rounded off kind of like this to give it that classic church look. The design of this church here is really kind of inspired from Oblivion, the Elder Scrolls uh, I don't know which one it was, but it was one of them. They had churches like this um, that were really kind of gothic-y. They had these uh, flying buttresses off the sides that attached to the building. Uh, they had these rounded off backs. I think they did. Maybe they didn't have rounded off backs. Uh, but the really iconic thing is the central tower that they have on theirs. And so that's kind of where I took a lot of inspiration from this build was Oblivion. It's a great game. If you haven't played it, you definitely should. But remember, Minecraft's better. I don't know if I can say that, but I think so. Anyway, so that's the layout of the church here. Uh, as you can see, the front is kind of going to be facing towards the village. So I'll have the road will probably connect um, from here, kind of to where the inn is. And it'll follow along here, up the hill. I need to fix that creeper hole. 
and then right here to the front. And then there'll be little pathways, of course, that'll go off to each side. And then down here at the bottom, the only last thing I think I need to show you is I've actually decided to put the church up one block. That way I've got a little bit of playroom with the terrain so I can fit the train around the build the way that I want to, um, still being able to keep this hill. But if you could imagine that I put the build directly on this flat terrain, I think it would just look a little funny because the hill, you know, gradually increases, gradually increases, and then flat with the perfect church on it. And I think we can do a little better than that. I think we can continue this hill look all the way up, maybe put another layer kind of here in the middle um, that the church is sitting on top of. And I'll get started on building up these walls. Okay, so small update, but here we are. I'm just working on the front. Um, can you be quiet? I'm just working on the front here um, so I can kind of show you guys uh, my plans when I got. You know what, bro? Anyway, so as you can see, I've got the front uh, getting built up here. That's going to be the main entrance there. We've got the double doors, and then we got a window on each side, which I will fill in with stained glass to really get that. I'm going for a cathedral look, but this is a church, uh, a Catholic church at that. So I really want to get those stained glass in there. Uh, I'm going to do a nice um, circular window up here. So we got the center tower here, um, which is going to go up way high into a bell tower. Uh, you can see that gradient just starting to form from the dark to the light here. Gradient going from dark and then here we start to break it up a little bit lighter and then we go really light here and then it's going to go more stone brick heavy on the top as I want it to look more structured up there. So like the elements are kind of the whole kind of bottom half of the structure you know is taking the elements pretty well uh, and then the top is still pretty structured and secure. So that's what I'm going for. Um, that's all I've got. I put this other layer of land in here which I'll change up, but I just wanted to get it in there so the church was sitting on something flat. I'm gonna finish building up uh, this whole front face and then we'll probably move on to the right side and just work our way around. Man, I think this is looking so cool. Especially having that big tower there up on that hill. Just, oh, it makes the sight line look so good. And check that out. That's looking so cool so far. So I've got most of the framing in. Uh, still got to put all the windows in. I got to put all the walls in. I uh, got to put the whole roof in. But you can kind of get an idea of the shape now. Yeah, that's looking so cool up there. Oh, I love it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take a break from doing the exterior for a second. But by the way, guys, look at how much room is here on the interior. I am definitely going to do an interior for this and I'm going to start right now just by putting the floor in. I thought of kind of a cool uh, pattern design that I want to do here for the floor so I'm going to go ahead and grab all the blocks I'm going to need for that. Wow this is so cool I have a lot of room to make this really grand and just pop. Ah I'm excited okay let's grab some materials. So the first thing I'm going to need here is copper which luckily I've got a ton of it uh, right here this is the full blocks of copper is what I want so I should have probably cleaned out my inventory but I'll take that for now now I've got a lot of smooth basalt here but what I actually want is the regular basalt so I believe I'm gonna have to go to the nether to get that All right, and I think that should be plenty. I don't think I'll need any more than that. In fact, that's probably more than enough. Uh, so I'm gonna head back now. Hopefully I can find where I came from. Oh no. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do for this is kind of an outline with this block facing up so we get this nice kind of little swirly look. It looks like a nice tile or something and I really like the look of it. And I say we kind of outline this let's split it right down the middle here like that and then we'll fill it with copper in the middle yes I think that looks 
Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna do that with all the rest of these. Uh, just fill the whole floor in here. And I think I want to keep this orange look, so I'm also going to have to come back with a lot of beeswax. Luckily, I've been saving up. Uh, that's probably going to drain me. But I think this orange look is cool, and it'll give a nice pop of color to the floor. Copper sounds so amazing. Alright, and that's pretty much run me dry on copper and basalt. <laughs> Actually, I have a little bit more of that, but pretty much used up all my copper. Uh, for this half of the room, though, or this uh, little section of the room, I'm actually, I think, going to raise it all by one block. That way we have a nice area for the pedestal where the preacher and the choir and stuff would be able to sit up here. So I'm going to probably raise all this up a block, I think. Something like that. Yeah, I think this looks really good. It really amplifies the space in here, I feel like. It looks like it just got a lot bigger by putting in that floor. Got a lot of room to work with here on the interior, which is, of course, a good thing, especially on a church. So we can have these nice high beams going up, and ah, I just, I can't wait to decorate the inside. But uh, I haven't even filled in the walls or the roof or anything, and I'm already planning out the floor. Okay, I think this is enough interior. I just wanted to get the floor in and have kind of a base of how I wanted all this to be. Now it's time to go fill in all the windows, the walls, and the roof. But before I do that, I almost forgot, I need to wax this whole floor before it starts turning colors on me. Alright, got a lot of honeycomb here, we'll just take it off for now. Okay then, back to work. Alright, so I'm working on the roof right now of the church, and I've already gone through half a shulker box of spruce wood. Uh, so I'm just here, devastating this forest. And that should be enough to finish, but I'm gonna grab a little bit more, just so I have more. I make lots of trapdoors. So I'm just gonna fill up my inventory, and then I'll get back to work. Okay guys, check this out. I think it's looking so cool. So I put in all of the walls, so the full structure is totally complete now. Minus like the flying buttresses uh, and the stained glass. So I still need to come through with all the stained glass and touch up just the rest of these walls. Um, but as you can see, we got all the walls done, all the way around, all the roof is done. And I think this is just looking so cool. Like, I'm so happy with the way that this is turning out. So yeah, I'm gonna get working on those last things, but this is just about coming to an end, and I'm so happy it's taken me a long time uh, just building this up and gathering the resources and stuff. And we've actually gone through a good lot of our resources. I'm starting to run pretty dry on a lot of stuff. So let's give this one last cut, and then I should be finished. I can't tell you guys how much I like the way that this turned out. I think it looks great, it looks very Roman Catholic-y, very grand, and definitely very, very gothic. So next episode, just to give you a little hint at it, uh, definitely going to be doing the interior of this. I definitely want to work on that and work on connecting this over to the village 
so expanding the road and then just building a lot of details maybe do some planning I don't know what all next episode is going to hold but I can guarantee you that this will be done next episode anyway though that is going to do it for me thank you guys for watching if you made it this far um, please like or subscribe uh, definitely leave a comment I definitely like to read those they're very encouraging and they help me out a lot all right guys see you in the next one bye